American flags are waving from the flag stand. Dale Earnhardt Jr. waves the green flag. The 62nd Daytona 500 is underway. Pretty much by himself. And let's go all the way to the back. Coming off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air. Up. Goes Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof. Ryan Newman comes across the line for it. Our scoring monitor gives us interval to one one hundredth of a second. It was closer than that. Happy that you're here. We're so happy that you're sitting at that table. After watching that video, I don't know how many times you've seen it, but um, how are you feeling this morning? How do you feel today? It's still humbling to, to watch it and um, know that I'm sitting here without a headache, which is amazing. Uh, just a miracle on so many levels and thankful for so many people for prayers for all the things that went into me being safer in that situation. No, no broken bones, nothing None. like that. And nothing. there were some reports of head injuries. What did the doctors have to say about that? Basically like a bruised brain, like it just takes takes time for it to heal. Um, I was knocked out. There was a point where I, I don't remember a part of the race. And yeah. realistically, I just feel so lucky. Has confirmed that since the leader saw the white flag under... Alex Bowman comes to the stripe to win the Auto Club 400. Second win of the season for Joey Logano. Ready for the green, green flag. We're racing in Homestead. Garrett Smithley on the break from William Byron. And, and something else that you saw uh, the race analysis from Larry McReynolds, saving tires is going to be a very important aspect of the strategy. So you might want to push here early like we see William Byron trying to take the lead from. Clear inside. You can't hear me? Oh, 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 my gosh. No way. Well, Kyle Larson is at the top of sports headlines today after an iRacing event last night. He was checking his headset, checking his microphone when he then used a racial slur heard by other drivers in the event last night. Returning with NASCAR announcing that their Cup Series will be back on May 17th. NASCAR is set to resume its season at Darlington Raceway with three races longer as they'll be getting a full course of action on May 17th with NASCAR announcing its return. Now, Larry McReynolds, we're not the only ones working remote. Green flag, NASCAR is back. Work for 14th, Harvick wins NASCAR's return to action at Darlington. Green flag, NASCAR is back to back at Darlington. Oh, that did not work out for, oh, Kyle Busch turns Chase Elliott. Hard into the wall and almost back up into traffic. 11th caution flag. Oh boy. Missionary war. David Pearson was the silver fox. Had a lot of wins here at Darlington. We could go on and on and on. <laughs> Matt, what's the atmosphere down there uh, of the season? 145th career win for Toyota. And their second win of the year and eighth at Darlington. Off turn four into the checkered flag. Michigan's Brad Keselowski wins NASCAR's longest ever race. Elliot. Yeah, buddy. We did it, boys. Checkered flag as a car spins through the quad oval. Elliott, they're up and in the wall. Here comes Keselowski and Kyle Busch. Two Sundays in a row. Brad Keselowski wins Bristol. Just 
Griffin Harvick wins Atlanta. Last fall, he led every stage and got the win. Martin Truex wins Martinsville. Denny Hamlin, 40th career win. Racing is the great equalizer. In a 500 lap race at Talladega Super Speedway, it was this unforgettable stretch before the green flag dropped. The entire garage area has rallied around Bubba Wallace. That will likely serve as an enduring image for generations of NASCAR fans. Saving the green flag, Ravens quarterback from Alabama, Marlon Humphrey, sends them off for 500 miles. Majority up. But up front, they're racing for the win. Blaney's ahead. is in the back, and Blaney is the leader. Stenhouse comes back to him on the bottom. Off turn four, three wide. Not over yet. Here comes Eric Jones. Nemechek trying to push Jones. Eric Jones with help. Here comes Almirola. Crash into the wall. I think it's Stenhouse. It might be Blaney. And 5,000 ticket buying fans in attendance. Ways, three different radius corners, three different banked turns. One big puzzlement for 40 drivers. Kevin Harvick at Pocono finally is a winner. Denny Hamlin is going to tie Jeff Gordon as the all-time Pocono winner with Hendrick Motorsports. Johnson has self-reported that he's tested positive for COVID-19 and will miss this weekend's race at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Justin Allgaier will fill in behind the wheel of the number 48 this weekend at IMS. Kevin Harvick is going to see the checkered flag. He wins again at the Brickyard. White flag waves, one to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Next flag ends it. They're banging off one another. Custer to the lead. Oh, heavy tire rub on the four car, Kevin Harvick. A rookie is going to win Kentucky. Can you believe it? I never would have believed it till now, Mike. Custer, Truex, DiBenedetto, Harvick, Blaney. Wow. Off the final turn. Rookie Cole Custer wins Kentucky. Can you believe it? In ODW. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing for a million dollars, boys. One more time. Chase Elliott yes, gets his sir, first, yes, sir. Super proud of you guys. first All Star win. He's going to win in Texas. Austin Dillon gets the win. Harvick in that red number four on the inside. Joy Logano, red and yellow. Number 22 on the outside. Two Ford Mustangs taking the green flag in Kansas. But Chase is going to be able to push that Atlanta car back out front. More wrecking. And around goes the 95. Oh, and the 37. Oh, the oh, my goodness. Oh, it's awful. Ryan Priest in the 37. Fantastic. That's Ryan talking. Glad to hear that. Be able to celebrate with his crew because he knows that's who's getting him up front, giving him fast cars. They've done it again. He's done it again. Kansas winner, Denny Hamlin. For 33 for Brad Keselowski, he's going to win at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Make it three out of four. Harvick's going to win again at Michigan. And that'll do it. Three out of four the final time. Kevin Harvick is going to sweep. Michigan, he wins again. A lot of fun. And so Kevin is going to head to history at the Daytona International Speedway Road Course. Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin lead the field of 39. Green flags in the air. The Cup Series running on the road course at Daytona for the first time ever. A big challenge out of Denny Hamlin here one last time. But trying to make history, the nine of Chase Elliott, three road course wins in a row. He's going to win at Daytona. As Denny Hamlin comes out of four, and Denny Hamlin will once again see the checkered flag. He wins at the Monster Mile. Here Kevin go, Harvick is going to win. He sweeps. Getting ready to kick off the end of the regular season from Daytona. Dano's going to take the lead away from Denny Hamlin. Two laps to go. Bubba Wallace on the outside. Big run. Contact, Contact made again. Bubba Wallace sideways. Can he save it? William the Byron. They're right the now. The 22 goes coming, around. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Oh, the car is going to come out now. Big, big wreck behind him. Bubba
Bubba Wallace got through Tyler Reddick hard hit. Jimmy Johnson. Johnson caught up in it in the 48. Yeah, big damage on Jimmy's car. Could this be it for the seven-time champion? William Byron looking for his first ever win in the NASCAR Cup Series. A win, a secured spot in the playoffs. William Byron's gonna win. He comes off a four, Harvick's still gonna win. But this one takes him all the way to the round of 12. He wins again at Richmond. Is going to win in his hometown. Bush wins in Vegas. <laughs> Happens at Talladega Super Speedway. Green flags in the air. And up, Bell around in the back of the pack. The eight also involved. And they're sliding down the banking. Pack. Oh, let's. Sure try. enough, 47 is around and he slams into the inside wall. Yeah, Ricky Stenhouse, had, he had, look at the front of this car, he had some damage. He's going to get in the back of this 88. 88 tries to go to the oh, outside. And around they go. The 10 of Eric Alvaro up in the air is the 18 of Kyle Busch. Ryan Blaney is caught in it as well. Oh, we got a crash. 48 goes around, the big one happening. The one's upside down. Kurt Busch climbed all over the top of the 41 of Custer. The two is around. Playoff contenders involved. Below the double yellow line. Oh, and they're right behind. Wow. Caution comes out before they get to the finish line. Look who's in it. Oh. Under the wall. Now the 24, a big run. He slides. They make more contact. Three wide as they come out of four. Hamlin to the inside. Side draft coming from the 24 car. Denny Hamlin, William Byron. Through the triangle, coming up to the stripe. And as they go across the stripe, a photo finish. Denny Hamlin gets the nod by 23 one thousandths of a second. No way. <laughs> and Matt DiMinadetto has no clue. For the youngest. Four road course wins in a row. Chase Elliott's going to do it again at the Roval. Through three and four for the final time. Joey Logano's going to win again in 2020. This time, Kansas. He saved enough fuel. Kyle Busch wins at Texas. Chase Elliott, through three and four. He is going to win his way into the championship four. Elliott wins at Martinsville. Can Harvick do it? The final turn. Get it. He needs the position. Oh, Harvick spins the 18. Turns into the 18. He turns as well. The 18 crosses the start finish line, and Harvick is going to be out of the playoffs. Starting grid brought to you by USAA, and here are the championship four drivers. Championship. They're looking for the second. Coming to the green flag. The championships underway in the desert. Gano is one thing, yep. passing is another. He's oh, pushing him into turn it. three. Up the racetrack. Does no, he okay. take the spot? Chase commits to the gas, almost squeezes the 22 in the wall. The 24-year-old from Dawsonville, Georgia, is about to join his father, Dawsonville, in elite company. Chase Elliott is a NASCAR Cup Series champion. Ah! Like that song, boys! Yeah! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Alan Kowicki did this, where he's driver side to the fans, waving, and now he comes up to the young driver that just won his first championship. It's gonna be a handoff right now. Chase, go ahead.